The other day I saw this article here from ZDNet about better NTFS support coming to Linux kernel 5.15. And that's cool, I guess. Maybe one day instead of using ext4 for your petitions, you can instead use NTFS. You probably shouldn't, but you could if you really wanted to. Maybe it's useful for handling like dual boots or something like that or some other weird server edge case But I can't see most people really using that but it is cool to have that support nonetheless But that's not what we're talking about today because there is another part of this article about the developers who actually made the patch so this kernel driver is being developed by Paragon Software, which from their interaction with Linus, it seems like they're still fairly new to Linux kernel development and don't exactly understand all of the etiquette to actually properly interact with this community. And Linus took this opportunity to basically rail on GitHub and explain why it's awful and why he does not use it to manage the Linux kernel. So you may not have known this, but Linux does actually exist over on GitHub. It is mirrored over there, and Linus, while he has problems with the GitHub workflow, there's one thing he thinks it actually is good for, and that's storing code. As long as you're not working on GitHub, it's fine. It's great for just throwing your code there and then basically using it as a backup service. One thing you may have spotted is that pull requests are actually open, but issues aren't. Now, there's a very good reason for that. It's because GitHub doesn't let you disable pull requests. The reason why it's like that is because they actually want you to be using GitHub. While you can go and disable comments, there's no way to stop people just making a new pull request. I can make one right now, and it, it's completely fine. They do have a bot that stops it from actually doing anything productive, though. So, if we look at this one right here, every single time you open up a pull request, it's going to be commented on by the kernel PR bot. The reason why this bot is here is because it explains everything you need to do to actually submit something to the Linux kernel. If you don't know, Linux kernel development is done through email mailing lists, and maybe the patch this person actually does have is a really useful patch. So having this bot here does direct them to where they actually need to go. What Linus says about GitHub is GitHub is a perfectly fine hosting site and it does a number of other things well too, but mergers is not one of those things. So the problem that Linus has with GitHub is it basically breaks everything that was made with Git that makes mergers actually really useful. And how this all links back to Paragon is Paragon did all of the development inside of the Linux repo forked over on GitHub. Now, using the forking functionality built into GitHub is not the problem that Linus has. There's no issue with that whatsoever. It just copies the code. The problem, though, is using the merge request functionality built into GitHub, which for some reason, which I'll never understand, is called a pull request. One of the things they did, which GitHub fully encourages is a completely uselessly named merge. Merge branch Torvalds colon master into master. The problem that Linus has with this is this is a completely useless message. Why are you doing this? What are you actually doing? What's it fixing? Some sort of message to say why this is being done. But there is another problem with this, and that's who actually committed this. So when you commit something locally on Git, you're going to have one identity. It's going to have your name and your email address and some other information attached to it. Then when you do something on the GitHub web interface, that identity is going to be based on your GitHub account. So you're going to have two different people working on this repo that look like they might be the same person, but they're not actually the same. And having these made up committers doesn't functionally change the code. That's not the problem that Linus has with it. The problem that he has with it is if you're saying that you're going to be the one making this change, then your identity should be consistent along the entire time that you're actually making these changes. Having these extra fake committers in here, all it really does is clutters up the repo with extra committers and makes it harder to track who actually made what changes. Now, for any of the developers with a kernel.org domain, 
Linus doesn't really care about things like PGP signatures because he's the one that controls the accounts on kernel.org. So he can assume that everyone using kernel.org you know, is actually part of the dev team. But for anyone on GitHub or really anything that isn't kernel.org, he does really care about some form of signature. While he's never enforced a full chain of trust through PGP signatures, one thing he does require is at least signing your commits with a consistent PGP key through git tag s. This allows Linus to ensure that all of the commits being made are at least probably being made by this person. Now, this is by no means the first time Linus has gone on a rant about how much he does not like GitHub mergers. Back in 2012, though, he was a little bit more, I guess, free-flowing than he is nowadays, is a good way to put it. So, I don't do GitHub pull requests. GitHub throws away all the relevant information, like having even a valid email address for the person asking me to pull. The diff stat is also deficient and useless. So if you do want something from GitHub accepted by Linus, there is a few things you probably should go and do. Make a real pull request, not the brain damaged crap that GitHub does when you ask it to request a pull. Real explanation, proper email addresses, proper short log, and a proper diff stat. And since GitHub identities are random, I expect the pull request to be a signed tag so I can verify the identity of the person in question. But don't do anything through the GitHub web interface because that's an absolute mess. So nowadays it does actually have the ability to do a short line description on the first line. It's just that it doesn't enforce the short part of it. You can write the short line description being as long as you want. Also, no sane word wrapping of the long description you type. GitHub messages tend to be, if they have any description at all, one long unreadable line. So when you do something in the GitHub web interface, it's fairly common to never press the enter key. So each paragraph is basically a single line when you look at it in something like Nano, Vim, Emacs, anything like that. That makes it very, very difficult to work with. Also the fact that by doing that, it's going to basically break the git log and have some messages that are way longer than others. And unless I'm missing something, this is still the case nowadays, no sign-offs which are required for Linux kernel submissions. So what Linus means by this is at the bottom of every single thing he says here, he puts his name. It's just how they do it on the Linux kernel, perfectly fine. What GitHub could very easily do is just have a very little box at the bottom of every single pull request allowing you to add a name there if the project actually requires it. Another problem that Linus has though is that Git actually has a pull request functionality built directly into it. It's made to integrate with mailing lists because that's what it was actually made for. It was made for Linux, so obviously it's going to be made around mailing lists. And this could be very easily integrated into a web interface like, you know, GitHub. But GitHub didn't care. So they decided we're just going to ignore this pull request functionality and make our own thing. And that's what they did. So the functionality built into Git does not work with GitHub. And all of this basically circles back into Linus believing the Linux kernel workflow and the Linux kernel commit log are as good as they could possibly be. And the commit log is the best commit log for any project out there. He says, by the way, the commit message rules we use in the kernel really are objectively better. The fact that some other projects don't care that much is fine, but just compare the kernel message logs to other projects. And I think that you'll find that no, it's not just my opinion, we do have standards and the standards are there to make for better logs. Now I'm really in no position to argue that not being the case, but when you're dealing with thousands of commits every single day, having some form of rule system is very important. It lets you filter out the nonsense and just focus on the people who are actually taking the project seriously. And sure, some of the people taking it seriously might still be trolling, but it at least gives you a baseline to actually work from rather than dealing with, ha ha, look, I changed every occurrence of yes to no in the kernel, which I did see someone do on the GitHub. 
you might not like the kernel development workflow and you might think it's behind the times and there certainly is an argument to be had there but what we can say is it seems to be working quite well and from all of this happening Linus still does not like GitHub merge requests or pull requests or whatever you want to call them but he is going to accept the patch that was made, even though it does have some oddities with it. The initial pull often has a few oddities, and I'll accept them now. But for continued development, you need to do things properly. Now, if you want to have some fun in your spare time, go and have a look at some of the early pull requests made on the Linux GitHub. Some of the ones in here have some... Uh, some questionable things being done, and when people were allowed to comment, uh, every so often an argument would break out, and those are always fun to read. At this point, the, uh, the Linux kernel bot didn't actually exist, so sometimes Linus would jump in and go on some massive rant about how much he hates GitHub. And to end off the video, I have a quote from Linus Torvalds that basically sums up all of his feelings about GitHub and about the people who refuse to use the Linux mailing list. You're a quality example of why I detest the GitHub interface. For some reason, GitHub has attracted people who have zero taste and don't care about commit logs and can't be bothered. The fact that I have higher standards then makes people like you make snarky comments thinking you are cool. You're a moron. And you know what? A part of me does miss the uh, the younger Linus Torvalds. If you like this video and you want to support the channel and become one of these amazing people over here, please go check out my Patreon and subscribe star and leave bearer pay linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over Tea available basically anywhere. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robertson Plays where I live stream twice a week, upload about five or so YouTube shorts, and then this channel is also available over on Odyssey. That's going to be it for me, and I'm out.